Susmit Patodia of Motilal Oswal AMC is joining us right now. Uh, Sushmit, thanks very much for taking out the time. Let's talk about your view on the index and the the, the pace of. We've seen this recovery in just a matter of two days. It, it looked like uh, you know a lot of gloom and doom on Saturday post the budget, but it, it's very quick to recover. What's the sentiment like? Uh, good afternoon. Thanks for having me on uh, your channel. Uh, so the sentiment, uh, you know, I, I think one of the things that we put out in one of the articles as well. Uh, on the budget day was that uh, budget has come and gone and it's mostly a, a non-event. Uh, it did not provide for too much rejoice for the markets and that's why we fell. Uh, please do remember that uh, Indian markets were outperforming during the entire coronavirus episode. And uh, so the fall on uh, Saturday was a mere catch up of that. And uh, the recovery that we're seeing today is again global led. Uh, I think as uh, and there's a feeling that uh, you know by this weekend we would have a little more control over uh, the situation. Uh, you know, people are feeling a little more risk on. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, just wondering, your portfolios uh, and portfolios for most companies which have or most asset managers who have a bent of uh, the broader end of the spectrum exposure have done very well. Um, maybe the budget gave a bit of a scare, but would you reckon that uh, the uh, a bent towards the non top 20 top 25 names would essentially do much better over the course of the next 11 12 odd months if indeed earnings recovery is in place i mean uh, i would uh, you would want to think that that the you know rest of the market should now catch up uh, with the broad top 20 uh, as well uh, and this is not something that we're seeing for the first time in the Indian markets. If you go back to 2001, 2002, 2003, when the slowdown was as we're seeing today, uh, there was extreme polarization then as well. Uh, so, you know, whenever you have economic slowdown, you have polarization in performance because it's intuitive that the uh, economic growth goes to the, the best in class. And uh, we think that the GDP print uh, will only get better from here. And as the GDP print gets better, the economic growth will spread to more companies and more sectors. And hence, you should see better performance of the rest of the companies as well. Mm. Okay. What have you made of earnings this far, Susmit? I mean, and within your coverage universe or your observatory universe, what space do you think in terms of commentary and earnings has done well enough for the momentum to sustain over the course of the next couple of quarters, at least, if not the entire year? Uh, so Q3 was, again, a quarter where there were very little expectations from uh, the earnings uh, perspective because, you know, you had this whole... Uh, D bottlenecking in the uh, auto space that uh, sorry the D stocking in the auto space that was going on thanks to BS4 BS6 and that has a significant ripple effect across other sectors as well. Uh, so in that muted expectation, the numbers uh, that have come out for the large caps that we track have been uh, pretty much in line. Uh, some of the consumer companies have done much better than what we anticipated, um, while uh, the auto companies. Uh, have been in line, there was not much expectation from them. Uh, so I would say overall the domestic uh, facing companies have done okay. Uh, the global companies, uh, especially tech, have had challenges uh, with respect to the furloughs being excessive this time. Uh, apart from that, I would say it's a muted expectations and uh, pretty much in line. Okay, uh, before, before we thank you, Mr. Smith, uh, give us a sense in terms of any specific sector so far, the earnings that we've seen for the quarter gone by standing out according to you and where you bullish on? So we uh, continue to be bullish on uh, private banks as a space. We think the whole corporate credit culture will significantly improve. The reforms done uh, in the last two years towards corporate credit will enhance uh, the risk reward for the banks to lend to corporates, very similar to what we saw in retail from 2010 to 20. Uh, we, sh we expect 20 to 30 to be for corporate uh, lenders. Uh, the second is insurance. We are extremely bullish on insurance, uh, despite whatever happened in the budget. Uh, we think the under, under penetration is so high that, uh, you know, even if you remove a few tax benefits, anyway, not too many people are going to avail of the new regime, is going to be, will, will give you significant headroom. Uh, these two are sectors that we're extremely bullish about and the, sec the third sector is domestic pharmaceutical. 
uh, you know, as uh, general insurance coverage increases, as uh, hospital increases, uh, formal healthcare increases, you will see a pharmaceutical market uh, also grow much faster than what we've seen in the last 10 years. Okay. Uh, so, Smith, we'll leave it at that. Thank you so very much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you very much.